It's indeed a very great pleasure to stand before you and share with you the overall theme address of this 10th edition of the HR Conclave. The 10th edition is indeed significant because it signifies 10 years and it's a decade. And in the last nine years, we have gone through several other themes which indeed we believe from the feedback that we have from the People Fraternity that it has indeed helped in sort of providing a good framework of thought and reflecting those in terms of actions at the workplace and organization. As the convener of CII, APHR and IER panel, I too join Mr. Ashok Reddy, chairman of CII, to welcome you all to this important 10th HR conclave. Now, when we talk about the 10th edition, uh, me and my colleagues in CI definitely and truly believe that this is going to be really exciting. Unlike the earlier formats that we used to follow, which was a single day conclave this year, we are making it unique by having it stretched to almost one and a half days. And there is going to be a very interesting uh, evening session as well in terms of an exciting topic. Therefore, I believe it will be fun. It will be fun for the simple reason that it's going to be thought-provoking. It is going to be a sessions of uninterrupted learning. There is not going to be any interruptions from work, I believe, and I wish you all for that uh, opportunity. Friends, the world of tomorrow is not going to be as what we see it today. For what reasons? For several, several reasons that we know of, we think of the changing demographics of people, the talent that we have at the organization, the generations that have changed from the so-called X to Y to millennial. I mean, we need to be really capable to understand as to what are their aspirations, what are their perspectives, what are their thought processes. The aspirations of organizations and management itself is changing, where there is no hesitation to go into mergers and acquisitions in foreign lands. Not just that, we also see that there is a lot amount of technological changes that are coming on the way. The economic dynamics is in fact a little turbulent and mixed. We clearly see that beyond these economic turbulences and growth, one thing that is very, very evident is the growing inflation, the rising cost. And if you were to look all this together, from the talent perspective, we have our own set of challenges and opportunities, be it on attraction, retention, rewards, productivity, engagement, and whatnot. And therefore, I am reminded of the simple fact that we experience in organizations. And I am sure that all of you believe that it is a reality. What is that reality? There is a clear mismatch there is a very, very clear mismatch of what's in demand and what's available in the talent pool. And I'm sure each one of us recognize that issue. I'm sure most of us are aware of the fact that even in the World Economic Forum that was held in Davos this year, one of the critical issues that was discussed was the human capital risk, employability, and mobility. This indeed became a huge topic of discussion. In this mixed economy situation and the challenges that we have in terms of talent, we need to see it in terms of opportunities. We need to actually start acting in a much more rigorous manner. And at this point, I would like to quote what Christine, the IMF chief, talked about her outlook for the year. She said, we stopped the collapse. We should avoid the relapse, and it's not time to relax. If we were to say so, from an HR perspective, how do we not relax, and how do we look at tomorrow? We can probably manage the tomorrow by doing the first act from our own self, and that, I believe, is that HR should transform itself. We need to learn not just to manage expectations, we need to learn 
to meet and exceed expectations of all stakeholders. HR needs to definitely transform its approach towards existing and emerging challenges by changing your own and our own thoughts in terms of people practices. At this point, I would also like to refer to the discussions and the thought process that Mr. Klaus, who was the chairman of the World Economic Forum, talked about saying that a new perspective should necessarily prevail. And what's that new perspective? Talentism. Talentism is the new capitalist. Therefore, for organizations to acquire, retain, motivate and develop healthy, productive, productive and engaged employees. We need to commit to talentism to lead the organizations of tomorrow. And therefore, we at CII got together to talk about the theme of this conclave, human capital transformation, leading the organizations of tomorrow through cutting edge people practices. In the next one and a half days, we will discuss and deliberate on some of these cutting edge people practices. I'm not sure whether I do have the time, we are delayed. However, I would like to emphasize, we have very, very interesting themes across this one and a half days on different perspectives. However, I would urge you not to miss what I am most looking forward also. Doesn't mean that the sessions are not important. But I should say, do not miss the evening session, which will be about adding value through values. And we have an array of personalities from different walks of life and different perspectives to have that discussion and debate, followed by also cocktails and dinner, an opportunity for us to do an active networking. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, I am aware some of these thoughts, which we will hear in the different sessions will definitely challenge some of our beliefs. But I would request that let us stay on with that discomfort. Let us mull it over and see and reflect as to what do we need to do. I also urge you to take this opportunity to question, to challenge our own existing thoughts and the relevance. May I also request that you exploit the opportunity of having the speakers in this conclave and therefore I also request you to probe the speakers with some innocent and intelligent questions. Finally, I request all of you that we should use this opportunity to make ourselves future ready 